Good morning, uh, Dana here. One of the things that I have been realizing over the past many weeks is that since this pandemic began, I've been pushed into a situation where I've had to learn lots of new skills, where I've had to develop some of the tools that were in my toolbox, but I've had to grow them and live into them a little bit more. Um, I've had to figure out what it means to do pastoral care over the phone, what it means to preach to a screen and maintain eye contact with you, what it means to um, ask for the right kinds of help. On the phone call with um, some moms yesterday, we it came up a few times that a number of parents are learning what it means to um, educate and do school with their kids, what it means to be like a learning companion and what it means to guide parts of their education. And what this does for us is kind of two things. The first is that it shows us um, what we haven't been doing and what we are so grateful that others have been doing. The number of times that I've heard people express gratefulness for teachers and educators um, and thinking that they should maybe make more money is something that I've heard a lot. Um, the other thing that it can do for us is it can reveal to us that we don't know everything and sometimes that humility is really helpful. But when we don't know something and we have to admit that, it can also be really hard because that's vulnerable. Um, we're kind of told to have it all together and to figure it all out. And so as we enter some of these new places and learn these new skills, it can be hard for us to know what it means to be honest that we don't have the skills or um, be honest about the fact that we are tired and we don't know how to do that. And so today um, I want to offer you a liturgy for parents before working in schooling. Um, this is a liturgy that comes to us, a prayer that comes to us from a church in Houston. And this is what it says. Confession, Lord. I'm not prepared to bear this weighty task of schooling this child of mine in letters, math, and science. Draw quantities, write qualities. Is that the way to go? Will good, intense analysis make this child grow? And with these questions swirling, I am doubly beset, not just with how to school, but how to parent yet. This child's always flitting all around the room. She grabs, demands, and shouting turns stubborn right on cue. It doesn't help, of course, at all that Along with this, I'm bound to keep my vocation amidst loud domestic sounds. I want, then, first to thank you, Lord, for gifts of beauty in this child, for she embodies your grand delight in making good things run wild. But second, Lord, please help me learn to form this child well. I need imagination, patience, long with her to dwell. And thirdly, Lord, give me the sight to see this child needs not rigor or loads of hard homework, but creativity. Help me then to calmly steward her love for play and making toward large words and numbers. Let them grow her fascination. Lastly, Lord, please grant me grace faithfully to know how to balance home and work, letting neither of them go. So Father, Son, and Spirit, send your wisdom from on high. School me in your loving pattern. Teach me, your needy child. May you have all you need. May you have the courage and wisdom and the humility to enter these new places of learning and growth.